Welcome to NueWayPocketGuide.com. This is the largest travel guide to Nui, and in this video, I'm gonna go over some of the photos that we took during our last trip there, and I'm gonna share tens of tips with you to make your trip even smoother. When arriving into Nui, you're gonna land at the Hanan Airport. There, your bags will be checked to make sure that you didn't import anything in Nui that is forbidden. Make sure to check NuiPocketGuide.com for the complete list. On your first day in Nui, make sure to join one of the orientation tour. It's a great way to get your bearings around the country and get to see all the must-see spots around Nui. It will also help you plan the rest of your trip in Nui as there's gonna be many spots that you're gonna to want to revisit. One of the best things to do in Nui is to explore the myriads of sea tracks surrounding the islands. There are so many hidden gems to discover, so make sure to pack some good shoes. But Nui is much more than just sea tracks. There is a ton of fantastic eateries to visit around the islands. In fact, we think that Nui offers some of the best food we've ever had all around the South Pacific Islands. So make sure to check out many of the small restaurants that the island has to offer, and also try the dessert in your resort. We've got tens of travel guides on NuePocketGuide.com, including a complete foodie guide to Nui if you want to check it out. One of the hidden gems of fishing in the South Pacific, Nui's waters are uncrowded and unmatched. Only within 100 to 600 meters from shore, you can be trolling, jigging or casting for blue water pelagic from zipping wahoos to monstrous marlins. Nui provides exciting game fishing all year round with the passionate local fishing charters to get you going. A typical Nuan thing is that the charter policy in Nui is that the catch stays with the boat. However, some charters will cut a piece of the catch for you to cook up at your accommodation, while others will deliver it to your local restaurant for you to try it professionally prepared. Around Nui's coastal roads, you'll see signs every 10 to 20 minutes stating Halatahi this, Halatahi that. These are your access points to Nui's stunning coastal attractions. They are your sea tracks in Nui. In fact, Nui has more than 30 sea tracks scattered around the island, getting you to various nooks and crannies of the raised coral atoll. Whether it's a crystal clear snorkeling pool, a cave, chasm, or something else wonderful and majestic. Rent a car for a few days and see just how many you can find. After all that walking, you may want some food. The scenic Matavai Resort is the only accommodation on the island with its own restaurant, but that's not to say that there's not amazing places to check out outside the resort. All Relatives is a cocktail bar which is well known within the locals, However, don't miss the Umu night at the Scenic Matava Resort where you will be treated to a local show. Once more, for heaps of tips on traveling in Nui, check out NuiPocketGuide.com. Let's keep going! Another wonderful thing to do in Nui is to join Misa on his nature tours. Misa is an old-timer in Nui and he knows everything there is to know about the local bush. He pretty much can live there without any shelter or food. During his tour, you will learn how to make fire on your own, how to feed yourself from all various kinds of nuts, and also you will learn more about the local cultures. With a little bit of luck, you'll also be able to meet some of the friendly locals. We really can't say enough good thing about Misa and his nature tours. After taking a tour with him, you won't be able to stop yourself from spotting all the fruit and nuts and animals that he pointed out during his tour. Misa and many of the other locals will tell you that most sea tracks are best explored at selected tide times. Reef walks and swimming holes are extremely tide dependent, while some tools depend on the tide to launch their boats. The silver lining that it makes extremely easy planning your days around Nui. Just look at the tide and plan one low tide and one high tide activity and you're all sorted. Find out more about the tide at the local Nui Tourism Information Center. Speaking of tight schedule, you have to try out the Washaway Cafe. It's a fantastic local experience, but it's only open on the Sundays, so make sure to have it on your itinerary. 
And speaking of Sundays, know that most activities are not running on Sundays because their country is extremely religious and they take this very seriously. So make sure to plan sea tracks or other non-tour related activities for your Sunday stay. In order for you to get acquainted with the local customs, we have much more information on newepocketguide.com as well as list of activities which are best done on a Sunday, so make sure to check it out. Public transport is not widely available in Nuweb, so the best way to explore the island is to rent a car. This will give you the freedom to let yourself get lost by following one of the many blue signs around the island that point to a cryptic point of interest. It's only when following them to the end that you will truly know what you are in for. And trust us, it's usually something amazing. Plus, driving in Nuweb is a lot of fun between the low speed limit from 40 to 60 km per hour and dodging countless potholes. Driving is an experience in itself. As a country, Nui is a kid's paradise. Heaps to explore, plenty of short and easy walks, various days from swimming with fish to eating ice cream. Don't worry mums, cornitos are so cheap in Nui. As long as your kids are confident with walking for about 20 to 30 minutes, they will have a blast clambering over rocks to find the next swimming hole. But surprisingly, not many families make their way to Nui, which makes it quite a kid-free country. That's a plus for adventurous couple looking for an adult-only style destination. If we do not make it clear just yet, you will get to see a lot of stunning reefs when venturing around the shores of Nui. Because the rocks and coral are super sharp, packing some good reef shoes is a must. We even recommend packing hard-soled reef shoes as opposed to the soft neoprene ones. And of course, when in the water or on a reef, be extremely careful where you are stepping, as coral can take decades to grow only a few centimeters. On a similar note, make sure to pack some reef-safe sunscreen. This will help protect the local coral, which is extremely fragile due to global warming. You will be able to rent some snorkeling gears from most of your accommodations, however, if you do have specific needs or if you do want to use some really good gears that you have already, make sure to pack them with yourself and to clean them thoroughly in order to pass biosecurity when leaving Auckland Airport. Ok, so Nui is never that busy, with only one plane that fits 167 passengers landing twice a week, so you will hardly be sharing the country with more than 250 tourists at a time. You will see the same faces everywhere and form relationship with other travelers in just passing them at least once a day. Now, if you are after a very peaceful lunch or an afternoon by the island only resort pool, then plain days are what you are aiming for. With everybody either exploring or waiting at the airport, you will get the whole place to yourself. In the same spirit, most arrivals will eat at the resort on their first night, so plain days are a good time to book your table at one of the prized restaurants like Hio or Kaika. If you like to stay up late and party all night, Nui may not be the right place for you. However, there are some fantastic night activities to do in the country. First up, Nui is one of the newest world's dark sky reserve and has fantastic stargazing opportunities. But there is also Toe Uga Tours. It's a fantastic tour where you will be able to join a local in hunting for Uga crabs, which are those gigantic blue crabs. You can learn more about the life cycle of those amazing crabs and how to spot them in Nui on NuiPocketGuide.com. Let's talk about the goat fish season. This one confuses many tourists. Every year, a huge amount of goat fish spawns in the water around Nui. When this happens, many sea tracks are closed as the local fish the goat fish. This usually lasts for a couple of weeks, but famously in 2019 it lasted for over 10 weeks. This event usually occurs between March and April, but honestly it can't be predicted. But don't worry, there are still plenty of amazing things to do in Nui, even in the goat fish season. Scuba diving and snorkeling in Nui offers pristine visibility. The island has no natural runoff, making it one of the clearest places to scuba dive or snorkel all around the world. 
whales, dolphins, and countless amounts of colorful fish can be found at any places around the island. But trust your local scuba diving tour to find you the best spot to suit your level and have the best experience around Nui. The whale season in Nui runs from July to October and allows you to get up close with some of the most beautiful marine mammals on the planet. Important things to note is that you can only swim with whales with a licensed operator and the whale season is also the busy tourist season in Nui. If you are after a private experience such as for your honeymoon, there are plenty of amazing holiday homes to rent such as Lao Getaway where you will get the whole place to yourself and a fantastic vantage viewpoint. If you are looking to pamper yourself, there are amazing massage parlors such as Molu Spa where you will be able to get a massage while listening to the sound of the ocean. But again, one of our favorite things to do with Nui is to go back to the spot that we visited during our orientation tour. There are really ton of sea tracks to explore and ton of amazing picture opportunities. It's incredible to see the amount of free activities that there are to do in Nui. There is really ton of places to visit, including what we think is probably one of the smallest beach in the world. With so much wildlife to experience around Nui, keep in mind that any wildlife activity is not guaranteed. Whale swimming, dolphin swimming, ooga hunting, fishing charters, scuba diving with turtles, these are only some of the amazing wildlife attractions that you can experience in Nui. We've done most and were amazed at every single time. But like with any wildlife activity that respects wildlife, viewing and interactions are not a guaranteed. These animals are free and it is up to them to decide if they want to play ball or not. It's a good idea to set expectations right for wildlife sightseeing in Nui. A good tip is to also book a few whale swimming tours, for instance, to increase your chances for a better interaction and see how every tour is different. Trust us, every single one of them is worth it. A tip to keep in mind is to be aware of tapu areas. In some occasions, such as death in a village, some areas may become tapu, meaning that entering them is not allowed. You will find them well marked by sign or by palm leaves woven onto poles. If you happen to stumble onto such area, it is courteous to avoid entering and not to speak too loudly, as people may currently be grieving there. On the same subject, locals are very religious, so wearing respectful dress is quite important to them. With this in mind, men should avoid wearing swimwear outside of the swimming areas and should avoid walking around shirtless. Women are advised not to wear overly revealing attire and to put a top over their bikini when outside of swimming areas and accommodation. To be fair, after a few sunburns, you'll appreciate the layer. And while we are on the subject of religion, make sure to join one of the local church during Sunday's Mass. The singing there is angelic and tourists are welcome if they are respectful. Another thing to keep in mind is Nui is that everybody knows each other. The great thing about living in a 1,500 people population is that everybody knows everybody. From one village to another, simply naming somebody will score you smiles. So if you are ever lost or never need to contact somebody, chat to a local and they'll help you get in touch with them. It's probably their cousin or son-in-law. Speaking of the locals, you'll be amazed at how kind-hearted the locals are. They don't speak fast or loudly, but they are super happy to have a chat, show you their catch of the day, discuss life on the island, or tell you about some local legends. Nuans have a strong relationship with New Zealand, and many of them have family there or have studied in the country themselves. So if you are a Kiwi traveling to Nui, you'll probably have a lot of common culture too. Finally, when planning your last day in Nui, don't take your departure time at face value. Although yes, your flight may depart in mid to late afternoon, you will still need to show up at the airport around 10 a.m. to check in. Then, you'll have a few free hours to yourself. You'll then finally get back to the airport for the security check and boarding. 
This unusual airport process is because the same airport staff are in charge of all the airport operations and simply can't handle it all at the same time. Heck, even the police station closes on the plane day so that the police can operate the luggage X-ray scanner. We suggest showing up at the airport around 9am to check in, then plan a short sea track and a quick lunch in town before heading back to the airport.